Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. I have always struggled with anxiety. It got way worse after I had kids and since starting this channel this year and trying to balance life and work, it's been so helpful to talk with a therapist about tools to calm my anxiety and just when I'm feeling super overwhelmed to just get grounded and get my mind back to a logical place where I can do the next thing without spiraling and feeling just completely stuck. I love that BetterHelp is so easy, so accessible, and it's for everyone. You can start chatting with a therapist in 48 hours. I know Christmas can be the most joyous time ever. I know it's also super easy to get overwhelmed and feel anxious. So I'm thankful for a site like BetterHelp that makes it so easy. I have been using them for two months now. So you take an initial quiz and then they match you with a therapist and you can start right away. So it's not like a crisis line or a self-help line. It is professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp is available worldwide and there are 20,000 plus therapists available to you. There's financial aid available. It's affordable, more affordable than offline therapy. You have access to texting them whenever you want and they're super responsive, but you also get a weekly live session. I don't have to leave my house to do it. I can just come in my room, in my bed, and check in with a therapist who is licensed and can help me work through whatever I'm going through. So if you want to click the link in my bio, it's betterhelp.com slash popcorn in bed. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. And if you use my link, you can get 10% off of your first month. So I really encourage you to check it out if you're feeling like this could be helpful for you, which for me it has been. All right, let's go watch this movie. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Welcome back to Carly Thank in the you. bed. Happy to be here. She was out there for a while. She got a tonsillectomy. It hit her hard. <laughs> She's if back. any of you have had that as an adult, oh my goodness, that was a rough two weeks. But we're back. We survived. She's got a little, some blown blood vessels in her eyes, so if that's noticeable, Scary. <laughs> sorry, that's what that's from. She's not like, you know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're excited to watch a Christmas. I was very together. surprised when I heard it was Christmas movie because it does not sound like Christmas movie. We're watching Die Hard. And apparently, someone told me that the internet has like very fierce debates on whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Like Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I think Lord of the Rings is kind of a Christmas movie because it came out at Christmas every year. Oh, I remember our family guys, yeah, going. I used to go see it. But it, it's not a Christmas movie. Yeah. And Harry Potter, like each movie has Christmas. It has the Christmas season in it, but right. it's yeah, not a Christmas movie. Yeah. But it's this time of year and I'm like, I should watch Harry Potter. Totally. So anyways, we're watching Die Hard. What do you know about it? Absolutely nothing. Bruce Willis? I don't know this. Yes, you do. I'm not good at names. He's, um, <laughs> Sixth Sense? In what world do I see the <laughs> Sixth Sense? Are you kidding? Um, oh my gosh, he's in something else big and famous. Yeah, I like know the name, but I couldn't like put a face to it. Well, you need, okay, well you'll see him. But yes, okay, so Bruce Willis is in it. I think it's like a very action shooty That's car. I'm getting like James Bond vibes. I don't Just know. Just the name. Yeah. Isn't there a die? No, time Isn't to die. A... Time to die. Have you seen James Bond? Oh, dang it. You can't watch it. I'm going to watch it next year. I just like to be a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> it was really. Actually, I can't tell you my thoughts. Okay. Uh, we're getting <laughs> sidetracked in. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we're watching Die Hard. We don't know anything about it other than Bruce Willis. She doesn't even know who that is. And <laughs> it may or may not be a Christmas movie. And it's pretty long, so we better get started. Remember, if you want to see full-length reactions, vote on the polls, and get early access to these videos and more, here's the Patreon. Like and subscribe. Yeah, don't forget. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> and let's get started. Bruce? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> is it his name? They don't show him? <laughs> That's Bruce Willis. Oh. Uh, is he bald now? You want to know the secret yes. to surviving air travel? After you get where you're going, walk around on the rug barefoot and make fists with your toes. Fists with your toes. What? Okay. I think there is a debate, like if you could take your shoes off in an airplane, but bare feet, like that's a lot. It's okay, I'm a cop. Welcome to Los Angeles. 
Those are bedroom eyes. The eye tension on an airplane. <laughs> Can't beat it. That's so weird to see. I was smoking just in an thinking airport. the same thing. <laughs> in fact, he could just like smoke anywhere he wanted. Yeah. Was... When did this come out? Oh, Alan Rickman. That's um, Snape. Snape. Such a love-hate relationship. Hey, Holly. What about dinner tonight, huh? Harry, it's Christmas Eve. McLean lovers. Oh, hello, <laughs> Lucy McLean. Pretty soon. No snooping around the house looking for presents. <gasps> That's him. And the big teddy bear was for... Oh, yeah. Did Mr. McLean call? No telephone. They might be a good idea to make up the spare bedroom just in case. The spare bedroom? I know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. McLean. Oh. Hey, I'm John McLean. Oh, God. I'm your limo driver. What do we do now? He's hella full. Full bar VHS. <laughs> no, a few mama bears we can hook up with. Or is he married? He's married. So who's arranging the limo for him? His wife? Maybe. So are your lady live out here? About the past six months. She's still living in New York. Um, you always ask us many questions, Argyle. Are you divorced? I would like to know as well. Yeah. <laughs> she had a good job, turned into a great career. So why didn't you come? NYPD. So I'm a New York cop. Oh, Six you're right. Six month backlog. You can't just pick up and go that easy. In other words, oh, you thought kids. she wasn't going to make it out here, so why bother to pack, right? <laughs> you're very fast. Oh, go. Tapes. What a time. <laughs> Christmas music. It is Christmas music. Oh, yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah, but in California. So strange. Seems wrong, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I remember when I lived in California, I went home for Christmas. I'm like, oh, yeah, is it Christmas? You score, you give me a call in the car phone. I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you a hotel. I'm here to see Holly McClain. Just type it in there. I love how that was probably so high tech. Yeah. <laughs> Touch screen. <sighs> she went by her maiden name? Yeah. I'm like, this is kind of on edge. I know. Is something bad gonna happen at the Christmas party? He's pretty bold to show up there, though. Merry Christmas! Look in California. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for a legendary. Well, then you must be John McClane. How was the ride in? I have you to thank for that. Seems the least we can do. Oh, this is the boss. Mm -hmm. This is right back here. I want you to meet John McClane. Heard a heck of a lot about you. Was he just doing drugs? Yep. Ugh. Show quite a party. I didn't realize they celebrated Christmas in Japan. Pearl Harbor didn't work out, so we got you with tape decks. <laughs> 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 She looks happy or like relieved that he's here. She was made for the business. Tough as nails. I was hoping you made that flight. Show him the watch. <laughs> Later. I don't like that guy. Yeah. It's a Rolex. Is there a place where I could wash up? Sure. Do you recognize her from something? Mm -mm. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I know. I'm just like <clears throat> waiting for it. Where are you staying? I don't think they're together. Mm -mm. Why don't we make it easy? I have a spare bedroom. Kids would love to have you at the house. Yeah, go yeah. with the kids. Mm -hmm. I feel like they both still want to be I together. Oh, oh, good job. It's just the job? that That's the only reason they got... I think so. I missed you. I guess you didn't miss my name, though. Huh? Since when did you start using Ms. Gennaro? It's a Japanese company. You think you're a married woman's company? You are a married woman, Holly. We're gonna have this conversation. No what? matter what it did to our marriage, it you had to take this It didn't do anything to our marriage. Gennaro, I... <laughs> Mr. Takagi is looking for you. Be back in a few minutes. Her voice is so familiar. You're right. She does look familiar. <sighs> you couldn't have said I miss you too and yeah. then gone into that, yeah. Good right? Good job. Yeah. A kiss Yeah, perhaps? John. Good job. At least he knows it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Something bad is definitely going to happen. It's like a heist or something. I, I don't know. Steve Worthy on the break. Over to AC. <laughs> Two points. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I thought they were gonna try to sneak past him. Wow. He just shot someone in the head and yeah. he's coming. <gasps> okay. Was that a hockey puck? <laughs> oh my goodness. This Walking is... in like they're oceans? Okay. <laughs> this must be like against the company. Are they gonna rob it? The company doesn't have money on hand usually like that. Bruce is gonna save the day. He better. Guys, they do seem to have a very yeah tight plan. They seriously are like oceans with guns. And bad. Yeah, 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 yeah bad. And not nearly as good looking. Yeah, <laughs> so true. <laughs> Get yourself some Brad Pitt. <laughs> Dang it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if you 
switch your toes. That's a bomb. Our guy. I'm kicking it down the garage. What's the word with you and your lady, man? The vote's not in yet. Oh my goodness. Just steal stuff. Don't hurt I anybody. Know. Argyle? Back here. Argyle. Save yourself. This guy seems crazy. He's the... Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Please no. Oh my goodness. That's Snape! Oh frick. You're right. Here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are they shooting people or just scaring people? He's my I feel very stressed. Are those guys in on it? Oh my gosh, I think so. There's so many! Is he in on it? Ellis or the other guy? No, the guy. I don't think so. I'm so confused about his plan. Yeah, shoot her window so she calls 911. Not hit her. <laughs> And then cops are in the area, maybe it'll scare them away. Mean... Due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, they are about to be taught a lesson you will be witnesses. Where is Mr. Tuck Tuck, president of Nakatomi Trading and father of Fang? You said this is because of their company's greed around the globe? It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> nice suit. John Phillips, London. I have two myself. Rumor has it, I have to buy his there. Me neither. When Alexander saw his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. I feel like if he's not playing Snape, his voice should be different. <laughs> the $640 million that you have locked in your vault. Money. What kind of terrorist are you? Who said we were terrorists? I, I, he can't take on everyone. He's got to get help. We need backup. The seven safeguards on our vault and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. It's a very nice suit. It'd be a shame to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. Oh, his voice. There will not be a four. One. They can't kill him. They need it. Three. I don't know what I'm telling you. You're just going to have to kill him. Okay. <gasps> no! He seemed so kind. I know. Father of five! I really did not think they were going to kill him. Why the f*** did you stop him, John? Because then you'd be dead too, so Thank God damn it, thank God. Fire alarm? But they cut all the circuits, I don't know. We got a fire alarm. Call 911. Cancel the alarm. They almost floated the alarm Oh, please keep going. Get off that floor. Come on. No. Oh, you stupid motherfuckers. No, no! Get your gun up. The fire has been called off. No one is coming to help you. Did they really only have one security guard? You let everyone else I go. I promise I won't hurt Christmas. you. I don't believe him. Yeah, as he like turned on the gun. It's the police. You won't hurt me. There are rules for policemen. But you're off duty. Shoot! That's what my captain keeps telling me. Did what? he just disarm him? I feel like he disarmed himself. No. <gasps> Ouch. Oh my god. Ouch. What happened here? <gasps> this escalated quickly. Yeah. I feel like he had the high ground and then he. Oh my gosh, did his neck just break? Oh. oh. Wow. Trick his pulse or something, though. He could be fake dead. And then she'll. <laughs> Oh, he oh, looks, oh, he looks dead. Mm -hmm. His eyes look dead. Okay, John. Okay, he's in on the plans now. You can walk out of here or be carried out. Decide not each of it. But they're not even wearing masks or anything. Like, <gasps> now I have a machine, machine gun. Oh, <gasps> she knows. Ho, ho, ho. Do you he speak German, perhaps? Tell <laughs> Carl his brother is dead. Michael, you and Fritz take the body upstairs. I would be so worried if I was his wife. Okay. But also, like, that's what? maybe our only hope. Yeah. I was like, a little bit worried about him on the elevator. Yeah. Uh. Oh, okay. But he's going up. Don't get, like, smashed or something. Does he have a plan? I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. Blood, you'll have it. Oh, the crazy one. Yeah. What do you think? Something's wrong. What's a job? Oh, Christ. What does he think he's doing? You really like that Ellis guy. Are they really gonna let the hostages go, though? I know, because they've seen, like, they're not wearing masks or anything. Mayday, mayday. Anyone copying? Terrorists have seized the Nakatomi building. That's the best place to transmit. The roof. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Oh, f***ing s***. Do I sound like I'm ordering a pizza? <laughs> 
Oh no. That looks intense. I'll have to report this as an FCC violation. Oh, just send the police now! Did that get your attention? Yeah. Let's see if there's a black and white that can do a drive-by. This lane is the worst! Did she really just hear machine guns so loud yeah. that it made her take her earpiece out? This is like Lincoln 30. Come on in, over. Code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza. I'm on my way. Put a hop, skip, and a jump into it. What's he gonna do? What's a code 2? No, drive by. <gasps> oh, oh good. Gosh. Hopefully you saw that. Oh, I feel like you need more coverage and more bullets. How does he get out of this? <clears throat> He's gonna have to kill Carl. Oh, that's a wound. That's a bullet wound. Why is their hair all down? I feel like they would have pulled it up for a terrorist attack. They all have like I know commercial. It's a guy thing to pull it back. <laughs> this is before the man bun. <gasps> Get your gun out! You can't do it on the stairs! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Good luck. Too much noise. My hands are sweating. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's happening here? Oh. He's leaving the gun? I don't love that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> now he's no gun and that was very loud. Oh, and he's in a very small bed. Don't move. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can you even get the bullet through those grates? Too close, too close for comfort. Okay. Didn't you see the gunshots? Hello, I saw gunshots, so we should probably call for some backup. There's that guard though with a gun, he's gonna shoot the cop. Oh yeah. Ask me that goddamn computer sent you out on another wild goose chase. He's good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Chanel! Fuck yeah. Chanel! Yeah. <laughs> Let me use a bit of my mouth. Our mommy used to always say that to us. <laughs> Was the role necessary? <laughs> oh my gosh. My hands. What the hell is this? Is no one hearing this? Next time you have a chance to kill someone, stop a crazy date. Oh! Thanks for the advice. Now go smash the car. Hey, Lincoln 30 to dispatch. Everything no, is okay. That was the worst police work ever. Hurry, throw something in his car. He <gasps> threw a body on the car. That'll get his attention. Oh my god. Argyle. Argyle. Welcome to the party. <gasps> Officer needs assistance. No, goddammit, no! For some reason, this isn't making me feel that much I know. They're like wiring things in there. Oh, remember the in the The first thing that one guy did was like lock things down so people can't get in. All of you relax. Well, this action was necessary. I thought I told all of you I want radio silence. Sorry, Hans. I Hello? didn't get that message. He's just smoking. I know. You have me at a loss. You know my name, but who are you? Just another American who saw too many movies. Who thinks he's John Wayne, Rambo. I was always kind of partial to Roy Rogers, actually. I don't know any of these things either. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki hey, motherfucker. <laughs> His bag is missing. He had to detonate. <gasps> if the person who radioed for help can hear me on this channel, I read you, pal. You got 30 or so hostages on the 30th floor. Get down to nine now, counting the skydiver you met. I hear you, partner. That leaves fine to run it. Where are you, partner? <laughs> so what do I call you? you call you me Cameron? Roy. I don't know if he trusts the Californians. Yeah. What's the deal here? What do these pricks want? Sir, we don't exactly know. We haven't heard a peep from them. Well, who in the hell you been talking to? I think he's a cop. I still don't know what they want. Just the money? What idiot put you in charge? You did. When you murdered my boss. Personally, I'd pass on the job. I don't enjoy being this close to you. She's BA and I like it. Yeah, she's acting very brave. Mr. Takagi chose his people well, Mrs. Gennaro. Miss Gennaro. Approximately two hours ago, Argyle. an unidentified group seized control of the Nakatomi building. All telephone lines have been cut. If there's hostages, how come nobody's come to us with ransom demands, huh? All we know is that somebody shot your car up. It's probably the son of a bitch you've been talking to on that radio. What? 
And what about the body that fell out the window? It's probably some stockbroker got depressed. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Even if it could be misinformation, you have to act. Jesus oh Christ, gosh. you're coming in. Well, I told you what kind of people you're dealing with here. All right, let's load them up. Everyone get ready. I feel like a lot of men are gonna die right now. Very gonna be a lot of explosives. <laughs> Ignorance was bliss for Argyle. He was just yeah. chilling. <laughs> all right, it was the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Okay, we're all set. Are you? We're ready. No, hesitate, please. Yes. Ugh. Go. Not on Christmas Eve. I shoot that up. Oh, you think? You send in the car. Who's in charge here? I know. What is this, the Batmobile? <laughs> oh. Oh, they're rocket launchers. They're not messing around. Jesus Christ. Hide, 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 hide. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. You have to nail it into the ground to use oh, this gun? Oh my goodness. No. Oh my god, the quarterback is toast. Hit it again. Are you making point that I'll pull back? I'll take it under advisement. Hit it again. I have a question. How come the policeman can't hear the other guys? I think only Al can, maybe? Oh, nope. He's not laying low anymore. What's happening? He's gonna make his own explosive? <laughs> the hostages though! I think that was might have been bigger than he expected! Move away! <laughs> oh! Yep, you're right. Let's start taking this seriously, mister. Yeah. Tell me you got that. I got it, I got it. <laughs> or we worry about the humans. Yeah. Hans Gruber, member of the radical West German Volkskrai movement. Now you listen to me, mister. You just destroyed a building. We do not want your help. Is that clear? <sighs> Who the f is this? <laughs> Deputy Chief of Police Dwayne T. Robinson, and I am in charge. Dwayne T. Robinson. Yeah. Well, up here, then look like you're in charge of jack sh You listen to me, you little <laughs> I'm not the one who just got butt on national TV. <laughs> Back on. Give me Al back. Yeah. Hey, Roy, how you feeling? Pretty f***ing unappreciated, Al. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. So do a lot of the other guys. <laughs> We're on your team. <laughs> T. Robinson needs to get it together. <laughs> Stop dividing the forces. <laughs> you guys got issues. Yeah. Hey, babe. I negotiate million dollar deals for breakfast. I think I can handle this Euro trash. Oh, wolf. This guy could not be more obnoxious. Yeah. Now, personally, I couldn't care less about your politics. The camel jockeys, maybe it's the heave. It's none of my business. He's like trying to salesman them. You're amazing. You figured this all out already. <laughs> you use a gun, I use a fountain pen. What's the difference? Hans, Bobby, I'm your white knight. I hate him. I hate him so much. The guy oh, upstairs no. is fucking things up. Don't. I can give him to you. <gasps> How many kids you got, Al? My wife is working on our first. How about you, cowboy? Two. Sure hope I can see him swinging on a jungle gym with Al Jr. someday. That's a date. Touching, cowboy. Or should I call you Mr. McLean? Oh, I hate him. John McLean of the New York Police Department. Dang you, Ellis. I have someone who wants to talk to you. Oh. <gasps> okay. I thought it was going to be his wife. So did I. John boy. What? Ellis? Ew. I know you think you're doing your job, John, and I can appreciate that. I hate this guy. He's like, Maybe he's secretly working something, though? I don't think so. He's not that smart. Alice, what have you told him? They're gonna use his wife against him. I told him we were old friends and you were my guest at the party. I want you to tell them what the detonators are. Why they're gonna kill me. Jesus Christ! Tell us these people are gonna kill you! Tell them you don't know me! How can you say that after all these years, huh? <laughs> I hated him, but I didn't want him to die. Shall I shoot another one? Sooner or later, I might get to someone you do care about. Go f yourself, Hans. Just let the guy die, man. Can't you cold. read between the lines? Yeah. yeah. He did everything he could to save him. Anytime you want to go home, you consider yourself dismissed. Oh, wow. No, sir. You couldn't drag me away. Sanction police. This is Sergeant Al Powey, then. Oh, this guy's on a power trip. Yeah, I know. It drives you crazy. I have comrades in arms in prison. Following people are to be released from their captors. I feel like he's just using this all as a distraction so they can get in the vault. Nine members of the Asian Dawn. I read about them in Time magazine. Yeah. 
That's when he was like, the cops are going to debate forever. Right. Do you think they'll even try to do it? Who cares? Asian Dawn. D-A-W-N. The FBI's here. Oh. What a breath, man. <laughs> Big fan, Al. Is that bad? Yeah. Hi there. This is big. He's got him. Please, God. You're one of them. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. What? He's trying to act like a hostage. Relax, I'm not gonna oh hurt God. you. He's doing an English accent. That was so smart. You smoke? Yeah. This is disturbing. I know. Come on, John. Thanks. I wanted to pick up on something. Read between the lines. I'm John McClain. Bill, play. Daddy's a handgun, Bill. Please do not give him a gun. Please do not give him a gun. No! no. <gasps> Don't turn your back on him. Uh, this is very bad. Oh, maybe he did something to the gun? He knew? Maybe he knew? How would he know? I don't know. He's smart. Give me my detonators. What do you want with the detonators, Hans? He's walking towards the gun. I already used all the explosives. I'm going to count to three. There won't. Like you did with Takagi. Yes. No bullets. Fucking stupid, Hans. No, I never doubted you for a second. Okay, you 1,000% doubted it. <laughs> for like many seconds. <laughs> I, on the other hand. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Ow, mini caps. That's the brother. Save some bullets. I don't know how those things work. Do they have unlimited? <laughs> Probably not. I don't no. think it's unlimited. That's what they have the straps for. What's he saying? I don't know. I need a subtitle. Shoot. The glass. So did he apparently. This is not a Christmas movie. Somebody just shot Santa. Okay. Wow. Jesus oh, he's in bare feet. Oh no. <gasps> That's not a hoggy bug. He what? left the detonators? What they must have done something to him. Still alive. Only John can drive somebody that crazy. <laughs> oh, John. Oh. oh, I can't. John, you still with us? He needs help. All things being equal, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. You know we got a pool going on you. What kind of odds am I getting? You don't want to know. Put me down for 20. I'm good for it. <laughs> you got flat feet? Some had to get you off the street. I shot a kid. He was 13 years old. He had a ray gun look real. They can teach you everything about being a cop except how to live with a mistake. Oh. oh. I just couldn't bring myself to draw my gun on anybody again. That's the FBI. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. The circuits that cannot be cut. You ask for miracles. I give you the FBI. They want them to do this. Lose the grid or you lose your job. Shut it down now. No, no, no. This is what they want. Oh. They cannot get away with this. They just gave him how much? Like six or fourteen million dollars? But how did they get out? Oh, that one guy that looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger is so annoying. Which one looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger? The FBI guy. Him. <laughs> he kind of does, right? <laughs> no. Oh, dang. Helicopters are on route, as you requested. When they're ready, when they touch down, we'll blow the roof. By the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach earning 20%. Please don't, John. I can't watch. I want you to find my wife. I told her it took me a while to figure out what a jerk I've been. I just should have been behind her more. Tell her that I mean, she's the best thing that ever happened to a bum like me. Don't lose faith. She's heard me saying I love you a thousand times. Tell her that uh, John said that he was sorry. Oh, it's not over, John. You can tell her that yourself. And you'll make it out of there. You hear me? Well, like I said something to man upstairs. What's he gonna do? Yeah. What the no. f are you doing upstairs, Hans? That's a smart question, though. You let me know right now when I call the guy on this. <gasps> Come, Brendan. This is the last time these kids are gonna have to speak to their parents. Come on. Oh my gosh! Okay, but John's Scum. that is so. But John's genius at thinking back to that. Yeah. What are they doing upstairs? What are you doing? Oh, his feet makes I me know. feel ill. Okay, Bruce Willis. <gasps> Oh boy. That's to blow the roof. <gasps> did Powell- oh. Did he get that? Yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. 
I think the FBI guy's actually in no. on it. No, no, he's not. Oh. Oh, he's so hurt. You know, your mom and dad are very important people. <gasps> this is McLean. That news reporter. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate no. watching people get beat up. Oh, no, no, no. Bigger, we take out the terrorists and close 20, 25% of the hostages. I can live with that. This movie is making cops and the FBI look very, very bad. Yeah, the Avengers always try to save everyone. <gasps> That time he might have got shot. After all, you perished, you're in. You're nothing but a common thief. I'm an exceptional thief. <gasps> oh, okay. Yes. Did he go for the karate chop, really? Did, this is. I know, I don't like this fight scene. Oh, oh no. boy. Oh. oh I can't watch. I can't watch. I don't like this, Sarge. Oh, now he's on your side. Yeah. No, the terrorists aren't going to be on top. They're going to be in a truck downstairs. <gasps> Hello, John. <laughs> They're like, um... No, they're gonna shoot John! No, 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 no! Ah! What? Well, they don't know that, John! Get down, get down, get down. Faster, faster, faster. Oh. oh. What is he doing? Not quite sure. Oh, oh he's John, gonna... John, go, hurry! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Is it whatever he's anchoring is gonna be blown up? Oh, yep, that's, that's it. Too. That's oh, yeah. got blown up. Oh! Oh! No, don't break the glass. Okay, okay. for the gun. Yeah, shoot the glass. That's gonna be blown ah! up. <gasps> this Hurt. is my nightmare. Shoot, I can't, shoot I can't, it off! I, can't, I don't think he has his gun. Stop it with your feet! His feet are shoot. bloody! Okay, you got enough. Oh! <sighs> I think oh this gosh. was part of the terrorist plan uh -uh. either. I need some more FBI guys, I guess. <gasps> They're gonna just drive away. Yeah, but Argyle's gonna stop them. Oh. Two bullets. Oh, Argyle, I do not want you messing with these guys. What is he doing? This is not inconspicuous. <gasps> Argyle! He's Okay. I'm scared of him. Hey, honey. Say I'm sorry. You got me. By well, this time, John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. This guy Cooper. What was it you said to me before? Yippee Kaye, mother. <laughs> That's a pretty good line. <gasps> He's so smart. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Take the Rolex. Take the Rolex. No! He still has a gun in his hand, doesn't he? <gasps> no! Get out of the way! You can't shoot while falling, right? I don't know. Nope. I hope that's not a hostage. Nope, nope, nope. <gasps> You're very bloody, though. Nothing like a hostage terrorist attack to bring you back together. Oh my gosh. Is that money? Yeah. They should give John some of that. <laughs> For real. And this guy, he, he should go to jail. Yeah. During an active investigation. And like children? Yes. How low do you go? That's the only reason the terrorist found out that that was his wife. No, seriously, grab, grab Don't make some him of those. walk though. <laughs> He's gonna know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? How is my wife Holly? Holly McClay. What? Isn't that the guy that was yeah, hanging? hanging? Al? Oh. Oh, when John was the story. With me. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone to know how good Argyle did. I know! He needs some credit! <laughs> Mr. McClain! Mr. McClain! <gasps> Boom! <gasps> oh my 
She did it. <laughs> this is their idea of Christmas. I gotta be here for New Year. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! I don't think you're gonna forget Bruce Willis now! <laughs> I know. Oh my, that was crazy. It was very but it was good. Yeah. Oh, I was so into it. Yeah. And like you're right, it was sensible, but it's not one of those that's like too scary that can't watch. That was right. good though. And I like how like little like comedic really. Yeah, funny little lines were totally. mixed in there. Like his little Sass remarks yeah. and <laughs> Al and John's relationship. Yes. Yeah, I love them. And we got a little, we got a little love story. Yeah, and they're gonna be home for Christmas and together. Happy ending. They're gonna bring the bear all bloody. And <laughs> yeah, I'm so concerned about John's feet, but yeah. And I, I really didn't like that the police chief was like giving him crap after. Like, I know you should be bowing down. Yeah, the John McClane. Yeah, when the debrief, they like actually get that. Yeah, yeah, that was good though. Action pack. Christmas movie. <laughs> Come on, kids, gather around. <laughs> I know. Christmas movies don't mean just that they have it around Christmas. There's like a certain connotation yes. towards a Christmas movie. You know, that like, it's happy. <laughs> it and took, about Christmas. It took place at Christmas. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a Christmas movie. Yeah, they threw in like little, like the gift wrap tape. Yeah. And but you need like, to be a Christmas movie, you need Christmas spirit. Yes. And that was not this. <laughs> Yes. Sorry, we are on the side of takes place at Christmas, not a Christmas movie. Yes. It is fun to watch right now though in December because Yeah, like the festivity. Yeah. yeah. Time of the year. Yeah. I really liked it. I thought Bruce Willis was so good in it mm -hmm. and Snape. I know. Like I always felt like he was kinda of talking like that to be Snape. Same, but I'm but like, oh maybe that's just Alan Rickman. So probably when people saw Harry Potter, they're like, oh, that's the diehard yeah. guy. Uh -huh. Not like we just did. <laughs> the opposite. Anyways, thank you so much for watching along with us. I'm really glad Carly joined me on that one. That was super fun. Me too, me too. And Bruce Willis. Who knew? Remember his name. <laughs> okay, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> What's the little Tim say? God bless. God everyone. bless us, everyone. <laughs> okay, Carly just left, but I thought of one more thing I wanted to say. Was that like I thought this was gonna be a such a action-y guy movie. And and it was, but it wasn't like stupid action. There was like a robbery going on and smart plays by him and by Hans and I don't know. I just loved that part, like the sneakiness and the heist. Carly really liked that one, which I'm so glad she watched this with me, that she got to watch a movie she really enjoyed. I think there's like so many diehards. Is that right? Is there so many more? Do we need to watch? Do we need to make this a series? This also made me realize that there are still so many movies I need to watch because I did not understand any of the little movie references or people references they were making in that movie. So please enlighten me in the comments. I'm sure you will. Okay, thanks again and goodbye again. Yippee Kai.